My beautiful Suffix, today I want to introduce you to this new TV series on Netflix called Neon. If you ever pull that shit with me again, I will tie you up and I will throw you in the back of a car. Like in a, in a sex way? The series follows three best friends in their early 20s who leave their hometown for Miami in order to make it big in the music industry. I guess I'm feeling like, I mean, it is a party and we are in Miami and there are a lot of cuties here that we can talk to. Throw on your nest swag and go bag yourself a cutie, okay? You want me to wingman you? No, I do not. The show reminds us that there is almost an embedded assurance that our dreams are bound to come true when we are young. And I love that about the show. Um, we just moved here. We. My uh, client and I just moved here from Fort Myers. What do you do? A music manager? <laughs> At least I am trying to be a music manager. You have a client, right? Yeah. Then you're a fucking music manager. Let's be honest, we are pretty familiar with the concept of watching hours and hours of straight content just to catch that one lesbian kiss. And this was one of those occasions, a real marathon session. Who do you rap? Uh, a new reggaeton artist. His name's Santi. For real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, damn, you know your shit. I wouldn't be very good at my job if I didn't know who the next up-and-coming artists are. Ness is portrayed as queer in the show, and I think if this is renewed for a second season, they might explore this aspect of her in more detail. It's great to see you again. Feeling is very mutual. Felix. Okay, I'm Jinsei. Don't get me wrong, the show was okay-ish, but not really my cup of tea. That being said, I loved the Queen of South crime lord reference, and even more, I loved how they made her queer. What the fuck was that in there? I gave you a golden opportunity. You make me look like an idiot to my friend. Look, I was, um... I was doing what I thought was best for my client, and maybe you thought I chose wrong, but I am not going to make decisions that I don't believe in just because you're scary. Scary? All episodes are available and streaming on Netflix. I can't remember the last time someone turned me down. You know what? I like it. It's not every day that we get to see Jordana Brewster playing a queer character again. Look, I understand that this whole thing isn't going to work out between us because obviously I misinterpreted the whole situation, but I just want you to know that last night was the most alive I felt in a while. with me. Come on, what do you have to lose? The show is glossy, is fun, and is reggaeton-centered. It is a series about friendship, determination, and the challenges of the modern-day music industry. I've missed you so much. Yes. Right. Um, <clears throat> fuck you. Fucking dumb bitch. Listen, I'm upstairs dancing to this song about friendship and you guys walk in and I realize that I'm doing the complete opposite of what this song is about. That being said and before I go please note this is not a show recommendation. True to be told I probably would not watch it if I knew then what I know now. 
Don't smile, don't make eye contact. You look at them, you're at their level, and you're not. You're better, you're with me. Is it just me or are they watching us start in slow mo? It's just you. We're here to see Raul. Oh, Raul is busy in his it's office. It's fine, he'll want to see us. That was so cool. Be less impressed with everything. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching. You love me?